Good morning. All right, let me check over some stuff here. Let me check the chat. Check, check. Chat is working. Sound is working. Test, test, test. And camera one, camera two, camera three. Okay. All right. We're up and rolling. Seven fifty coming up. Hello, Piper. Just checking in. Okay, I gotta go back to attendance. Fascinating stuff. Watching me take attendance. All right, back to us. Okay, so um, I am doing this live stream instead of Google Meet um, for this week just because um, with Google Meet, I can't necessarily switch up cameras like uh, switching to the Internet, switching to uh, actual demonstrations. I mean, you can switch the Internet on Google Meet, but um, it's not recorded and we can't like uh, access it later so this way I can have students um, oh there we go this way I can have students check back in on the information uh, that we went over in class just in case you do miss it so um, at least for right now I'm going to continue doing uh, the live stream that way you can either uh, comment in the live chat so you can ask me questions and that's where you would do attendance you comment in the live chat if you can't access the live chat all you need to do is email me during the live chat and I will put it in uh, right quick like I'm going to right now for uh, a student and uh, while I flounder around for a moment um, I'll be right with you. Okay, back to us. All right, so photography. Photography, what are we doing? Uh, we've got to sum up these grades, folks. Uh, believe it or not, we are at the end of the first quarter, first 10 weeks we've been together or apart. All right, so um, I am shutting everything down on Wednesday, which would be... Um, uh, the 11th, okay, November 11th. So on November 11th by 1 o'clock, um, whatever your grade is right now on School Tool is the grade I'm going to report, okay, the grade that you've earned. But nothing that we're doing right now, the outlines, the digital photos, all that business, that's all next quarter. Um, and we'll figure that out next week depending on whether we're getting back together again or um, if we're still going to be apart. So um, with that idea, uh, if we are going to be a part, we're going to be switching the class over to much more of a, obviously, a digital format. Um, and it will continue on with uh, digital, digital editing, and uh, the outlines from the book. So we'll go from there and see what happens. But I don't know anything yet either. Um, in class, I don't know, what do I want to say? Grades. Uh, so whatever you have on... Uh, school tool check it over carefully because after the 13th once I report these um, the only way to really change it is to contact guidance with a medical excuse so uh, I've gone over the grades 
and check them carefully. I've had a couple people write back and I totally understand if something is not right just let me know and we can fix it because we have it's it's just as confusing here as it is there. Um, we have school tool, we have Google Classroom, we have the Google shared folders that we're sending stuff in. Some of you send things in email through email so uh, with all of that content kind of coming in all at the same time and some of it coming in after the due date and we've been trying to be lenient with some of those um, it, it does get confusing so just drop me an email and I will uh, make any corrections if uh, need be all right hold on I'm trying to flatten this out okay so what are we doing photography right now we are I'm going to switch cameras here Okay, we are in photography. Okay, and let me go through the outlining first. There's the main site for photography. We scroll on down, all the way down here. How to outline a chapter. We click on that, and there we go. Skim the material, format your outline, write the outline. You can do this all in Google Docs and hand it in that way. And that kind of brings up my point again. Things come in in Google Docs, things come in on email, so it does get confusing. So check over those grades. All right, so that's how to outline. I'm going to jump back out of that. And what are we outlining? We're outlining this book. It's right here. If you can't access the book, you go to this link and it doesn't work, please let me know as soon as possible. Um, I might have to just um, make modifications to the, the format. So you can scroll all the way down through this. I tried to add a link as well down below um, just in case it wasn't working for some students. But we're looking for page 35. Scrolling on down, and part 2, 31, almost there. There we go, 35. Chapter 2, it's called Tools, and you're outlining this chapter uh, for this next marking period, and we will get to the idea of due dates and everything for this next period next week, but let's just get through the grades for this quarter. Okay, so there's the outline, how to do it. That's where you find it, yay, us. All right, going back to the main site. And I'm going to scoot down to, I'm guessing, I think it's 9, 10, but it might be 7, 8. Nope, I was, I was right. Okay, so week 9, 10, which we're in week 9, 10. Weird. All right, so uh, there you go. Due date, 11, 13, which would be this Friday. Total 21 photos. There are three of each. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Three of each. You're going to shoot those and... You can just email them to me, all right? Uh, we'll be fine, and then I can put them in the folders. But uh, what are they? Here we go. Here's the example. The slideshows right here. In addition, they're all defined down below here. Okay. There's definitions and visual examples of each type of photo or photography. All right. And I went through this a little bit last week, but I'm just going to do this now so that we repeat it and. Um, it will be stored here on the live stream. So uh, clicking through, these are close-ups. And by getting really close up with your phone, you can get uh, some abstraction, meaning you know, if you really look at this, if we turned it sideways, or um, you might even abstract it more so that um, we wouldn't even recognize that it was a hand, okay, and that these are kind of hand prints here and there. But uh, it starts to look like a topography, uh, topographical map uh, when it's abstracted this much. Okay, close up, close up. Okay, this is where we start getting the uh, depth of field examples where a portion of the photo is in focus and the space, uh, the foreground and the background are blurry. You might have to try a filter to get these, but we're, we're trying these folks. If it doesn't work out exactly, um, you know, uh, We'll work on it. That's that's part of this idea. So this is uh, framing or frame within frame. So the outside of a photo is a frame. Okay, it's a line around it. But in this case, the the model right here is framed also by the tree. Okay, cows framed by the fence. Uh, people are framed by the chain. Dogs framed by the door. Okay, these are all leading lines. The bench leading lines down to the person. Um, it doesn't have repetition or where it just, you know, this repetition of lines moving down through and they're straight all going to a vanishing point, which 
uh, we often see in leading lines. In this case, it's a leading line moving up and over. And when I say movement, that's the kind of idea that we're looking for for um, with leading lines. Is there's some kind of movement? It takes us through the photo. So here are these children, and they're moving up along the line. They're climbing along the line. These lines, the, the the road and the fence are all moving us down the path. Okay, even these this chain fence are they're all moving us toward. It's like directing us right towards the model's face. Okay, all right, same idea. All right, and you'll see this in advertisements a lot um, in ads. Okay, there here we have symmetry. A mirror-like image from left to right, perfect balance between uh, the two sides, so it looks like um, kind of like butterfly wings. And if you missed the live stream last week, um, you know you get a lot of points, like ten thousand, like four billion points, okay, in the grade book for going to a place like Wegmans and getting fish and shooting this photo. Okay, maybe not, maybe not that many points in the book, but you know what? Points in my heart, four billion points for doing this with fish. Okay. Uh, balance doesn't have to be exactly the same, like mirrored butterfly wings. Okay, this is not exactly the same, but it is visually balanced, right? Okay, that is definitely mirror, but you know what? It's not exactly the same if you look out here. So this is the balance between the background and the foreground. So the space that makes up the elk is almost equally balanced off with the background space. Okay, that one's super boring, but okay, that um, balances back and forth between the subject and this blurred area in the background. This is also an example of uh, depth of field. Moving along, and I'll check back on the chat and the uh, email in just a second for attendance. Okay, the model here. Balance out with the space. That's a background. All right, and the last one there. So I'm going to jump back to me. Yay, me. And I'm going to check my email real quick. And uh, okay, Mackenzie, I've got you here. Um, okay, you are in attendance. Almost there. I gotta just jump back to another class here. Miss McKenzie. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with this format, meaning um, I don't know if I want to stay with the live stream. Just some of it works better than Google, but then I kind of miss seeing you guys too. Um, but. Most of the time, you keep your cameras off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, Mackenzie, I got that. All right, who else is writing into me? Uh, Piper, I'll get that in a minute. And Grace. Okay, Grace, I will be with you in just a moment as far as the grades, because I don't want that recorded. And anybody else over here? Okay, so... Uh, grades, folks, just like Grace just brought up. Um, if you have questions, email me. And this is really what we would be doing in class if you were here. I would do the normal uh, lesson on what we were working on. We'd be in the dark room or around the class. And um, then I would stop and we would check through grades. So this is kind of what I'm doing as a substitute so that you still get the content and that we are accurate with the grades, especially under the circumstances. Uh, so um, as soon as I find out what's going on next week, I will post it on my main website, um, and I will probably uh, do an announcement on Google Classroom as well, and we'll see what we can do from there. In preparation for um, potentially being a part, I'm going to start looking for software that you can use on your phone to edit photos. Okay, and if you have a good idea, if you've got a great one, I have a whole bunch of them on my phone, but uh, if you have a great one that you use, you edit photos with on your an app, uh, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go take care of some email from students, and we will meet again on Thursday, same format, folks, uh, at least for right now. 
so long.